Hello everybody and welcome to episode 105 of Simply Magic. I am Fixit, and today it is time to finally begin this project. I did just a tiny bit of building when I got home from work tonight. This accidentally came through because of where I was building. I think it's kind of cool. I think I'm going to leave it. Um, I just threw some of this chiseled green glowstone. Uh, since this is going to be a little bit of a Batania sort of area. Um, so what I'm going to do today is begin the process of having a lot more mana. And I've never used these before, so this could possibly be just a spectacular failure. But um, I need man... Nope, that's not what I need. I need generating flora, and I need the thermolily, this guy. It acts as a lava counterpart to hydrangeas. As expected, the flower will absorb lava around the same height as it to create mana. That's important. The lava is around the same height. Okay. After absorbing the lava, the, the uh, lava, the flower will produce mana for around 45 seconds. After it stops, it needs a bit of time, around five minutes, to cool down before it can absorb absorb more lava. The amount amount of mana a thermal lily produces during its active period is extremely high, serving as a functional flower when a quick boost is needed. During the cooldown period, if the flower were to absorb any lava, lava, instead it consumes it, generating no mana. Having to wait five minutes from there to start over. Oh no! While placing love in the world is definitely possible via dispensers, automatically gathering it and carrying it up from the nether or deep underground is another story entirely. As such, the thermal lily is classified as a semi uh, automatable. Uh, automatable? <laughs> I don't know. Automatable flower. So here's the thing. My whole plan might be messed up. This might whole thing might not work. Because what I was planning to do was use the thermal lily. I was gonna put I was gonna get like sixteen of them, thinking I knew about the cooldown period and put them all around here. But the cooldown period will never end because lava is like instantly put up here. Um Flowers can work with redstone, right? Let me ask my friend. Uh, yeah. Can be turned on or off. Be a... Okay. Wanaki really knows Batania, so he's the go-to guy about this. So maybe, just a thought... If that works, which I'll find out here in a second, I guess I could get like, man, I don't know, like, <sighs> this is going to be complicated. Um, it's actually not that expensive to make. Uh, he says he doesn't think so. Arr, this might not work. Okay, um, I need to go to Google. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I am back, and I think, okay, first, the my potato farm is kicking butt. The whole time I've been here making these runes, it is just, like, rocking and just shooting mana like crazy. In fact, enough that I need to upgrade those spreaders soon, like, real soon. And, um, but first things first is I need to make some, uh, thermal lilies. So, I had the two runes, so I just need orange and red. So I'm going to need two red and four orange. All right. Shouldn't be a big deal. One, two, one, two, three, four. Great. Cool. I'll put that back. And then I'm going to need a, what? One, two, three, four. Man, do I love storage drawers. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I need that water, that water thing. Cool. Uh, okay. Orange. Stupid potato. Um, there's the red. Okay. Orange, orange, red. Oh, and then these two runes. Right. And I don't need that. Okay, great. All right, so I should be able to make this now. And hopefully I can make four thermal lilies without any problem. I seem to not have something that it needs. Oh, no, I'm right. I just... I forgot it doesn't make the sound. 
Oh yeah, I can click with an empty hand. Nice. Uh, oops. Nice. The only thing I would improve is I would make it so that if you like right click uh, with the seed that it just goes in or something or finishes the recipe or something like that. All right, so I got four. Nice. Um, so I guess, man, um, I guess so. I guess the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have to make four timers, I suppose, and I'll set them like one minute <laughs> apart and hope that they just stay synced like that. So, uh, I have a few timers. I wonder if I, I wonder, I wonder how many I have. I, I'm fairly sure. We, we went through a lot of different trials and things, me and Juan, and looking at the book and trying to figure out a way to automate like four different flowers on one lava uh, ritual and couldn't really figure it out. So if there's a way out there and if someone's watching this, um, uh, please let me know. That would be really, that would be really ideal. Um, I have no idea what I'm looking for. I completely lost my train of thought because Wanaki is busting my balls about not having end game Thaumium armor. Uh, yeah, it is on my list. It's actually on my list. I just haven't, I just haven't gotten there yet. Um, so I need, where, I made those timers, man, but I just can't find them. Uh... Dude, are they all gone? Ugh. Where I know that I made extras of those because I even thought, oh, you know, I'm going to need, someday I'm going to need more stuff. I have the Batania one. That's not, oh, here we go. I, I have one and then I have three of the other ones. That is cool. Um, okay, so all I have to do is, what's this called? Hourglass? Okay. Stop me if you've seen me craft these before. So I need Ordo, Air, Red Crystal, and Gold. Okay, that's cool. I can do that. Oop. Red Crystal. Let's go, uh, one, two, three. Right? Yeah. Let's see. Um, Shard, I guess. Uh, Ordo? Or that's Air and Ordo. Oh, man. I'm 26. And then I need Gold. Let me see here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that'll do. Grab all these things. Ha ha. What a shock. My inventory is completely full again, like it always is. Right. That's not going to do it. It has to be in a table. And of course, I don't have room. Okay. Do I have room now? Barely. I barely have room now. All right. Um fine. I know like most of this stuff doesn't even have a home yet because I haven't set it up, but I will soon. Thank you for that. Let me go here. Cool. And my gold, my gold went away. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, cool. All right. So I should be able to shift click this and I can. Great. Okay. So I have four. Um, cool. I'm going to need probably red crystal. I'll just grab all of it. I need to make more of this stuff. I want to have a lot of it on hand. So I'm a little bit bummed that I don't think this build is going to be quite as just amazing like mana production as I thought initially. So in my head, I was going to have 16 thermal lilies firing every five minutes each, you know. And now it looks like the reality is going to be more like four. So that is kind of a drag, but um, if I can figure out how to do how to do redstone, that'll be you know that would be even better. Uh, so I have I have this guy right now connecting all these, but that's not gonna work with this. And the reason is, well, actually I don't really I don't need it to work. So I can just pull off all of these. Um, because I'll be able to put like a lever on each one, each ritual. So 
instead of have one lever to control all of them, which is pretty cool, I won't be able to do that, um, because otherwise my timer would affect all four, and I want these to be like staggered timers. So, just in case I left any red crystal sitting around. I did. I did leave some sitting around. Oh, that was the amplified one. Okay, well, either way, I also don't need that. All right, so we'll continue on here, just picking up all these. I love that these red crystals work um, underneath. That is so cool. All right, so um, first thing is first, I need some light. I can't see anything. Uh, let me see. They are working on uh, some design elements of their base. I was over there earlier. We did set up a portal um, kind of now while we were talking about it. I will show that here I think if I get a chance um so the only thing I don't really know is I don't know if an hourglass will make redstone travel like down okay you know what this is really annoying to try to get through there that'll be a little easier cool um <laughs> uh okay I'm gonna try this guy right I mean, I could go here. Maybe that makes more sense. Yeah, I'll do it like there. Oh, whoa. No, yeah, that's right. Okay. And then over here, how about like there and there? Great. Uh, okay. So, um, I'm two blocks to the right of the ritual. I have to know that. Oh. Let's set this. Let's do a repeat, and let's go, like, two, uh, okay, two seconds. That way, I can be fairly sure that I'm going to see the, the crystal if it comes on. I don't think it's coming on, is it? No. I didn't, you know, I don't know anything about redstone at all. Uh, I really, th oh, it didn't start yet. I have to hit with the wall, or an open hand, right, start it. Okay, now let's see. I don't see the lights flashing. Shoot, yeah, I didn't think that would work. I just hoped it would work. I I just don't know ever where, like, which direction redstone travels. So, should, do I have to put this down the hole? Because that kind of sucks, but... Eh. Or... Uh, man, I, I, wish I, I wish I knew how to do this. Uh, okay, so... Let's see. I'll just maybe put it down a hole, I guess. I think... Can I do that? Do I need to? I guess I probably don't need to. Alright, what could be more fun than watching uh, Fix It try to figure out redstone like a complete imbecile? Um, repeat. Let's go down and then click with an open hand. Okay, let's see if that goes... Obviously, I won't have this on, like, a two-second loop. Maybe, do I need to go there? That'll surely work, right? No? Will it still not work? I really thought it'd be powering this block up here. Alright, what is happening here? Uh, does it have to be, like, this one? Oh, that one's working. That's weird. That's just not what I thought, but okay. So, um, I know that there is a way <laughs> to get redstone to go like through a block, but man, hell if I can figure it out. I, I just, is this lighting up? It is. What about now? It's not. Ah. I, I don't really want a hole here, you know? Um, so, 
All right, well, hmm. I I am going to step away and try and figure out redstone. I am not going to just sit here and just attempt every possible combination until I figure out how to do redstone. So uh, I will be right back, hopefully with a working plan here. All right, guys, I think I got the first part of this build figured out. So if I put it right here, the hourglass, it will hit these two red crystals and turn this ritual on just for a split second. So... I'm going to try it right now. I'm going to set these all up. All I have to do is click with an open hand. I'm just going to make sure that they're all repeat, and they're all six minutes. There's a five down cool cooldown period, five minute cooldown period, and then there the uh, flower will make mana for 45 seconds. So that equals six minutes. So six minutes for flowers. So I am going to hit one every. Every minute, every 90 seconds, I'm going to hit one, and then that should do it. So give me one second. Um, okay, uh, let's see. Timer. Okay, I'm ready. I got my timer here. Um, I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, I should use, like, my cell phone or something. What, what am I doing? I, I can't use a window on the computer because it, it, I'll lose it here. Hold on. Okay, um... Don't worry, don't worry. I, I, I'm still there. I'm just hitting all the wrong buttons on my on my phone. This is quality video making. Don't worry, just don't worry. Um, okay, clock app. Yeah, I think that's what I want. Uh, stopwatch. Yes, that's what I want. Okay, so here we go. Now it doesn't have to be, I guess, exact, but I think this will help. Ready and go. Okay. So now, at 90 seconds. I'm going to hit another one, and then another one, and then another one. So I'm not going to make you guys wait and sit here and listen to me uh, bumble for <laughs> six minutes. But whenever this is all done, then I'll come back. We'll put the, uh, what's it called, th thermo lily down and uh, just see how it goes. So uh, I'll be right back for the test. Okay, guys, I'm an idiot. So that so it didn't work. Uh, the reason why is this needs to have signal and then be shut off for a second because that will reactivate the ritual. If I only give it a paw, if if it doesn't have a signal, then it, it's always going. So that means I would have just been turning it off for a second. So <sighs> I'm sure people are like, what are you doing? It's not going to work. Anyway, uh, so, okay. So before I, I get these all set, uh, I'm going to try this again. But I, I'm pretty sure this is going to work now. So I'm going to stagger all these like I tried to do before. Um, and hopefully this time I'll have it working. I don't know that I need to stagger this, but I'm hoping this will be like a constant influx of mana. That's why I'm doing it like this. So um, with any luck, in six minutes I'll be back and I'll be celebrating. Be right back. Okay, guys, I'm ready for a test. I had to go to my Vitania area to get some stuff that I'm going to need to test this out and see if it works. Because it occurred to me, if I just put the flowers down, uh, I'm not going to know if they're going to like immediately fill up or what is going on. So I have each minute and a half. This should be working in a clock. In, uh, no, I probably went counterclockwise. I think I went counterclockwise by accident. Okay. So, so just place these guys down the world. Boom, and just like that, they are, that is not the right tool. Nope, this one is, okay. It, full, that guy's full, that guy's full, wow, okay. All right, so that's cool. Um, what I need now is I need a mana spreader, and I know I can do this later, but I, I wonder if I can make the upgraded one Elven. Oh, I definitely can. I have a bunch of that stuff. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make those because I think that this is going to make a lot of mana for me. I think. And, you know, I might be wrong, but I can definitely make at least four, uh, four Elven mana spreaders because I have all this. I just did this while I was like, I was talking to Wanaki and I was just kind of just talking and standing up here, so I thought, well, I'll just activate my Elven Portal, which looks to be staying topped off. Oh, not that one, though. I don't know 
why? It's crazy. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why that, that one's... Like, that one's staying topped off and that one's not. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But I have a bunch of this, so... Let's see. Oh, I just need petals, but I have that. Right. Right. I think it's that, and then I think it's that. And then I think it's that. Yeah, it is. All right, awesome. You know what? I'll just make all six. I can always uh, use them up here. I would like to replace my my regular old mana spreaders with the, the elven ones, which is, again, I think that that's actually the first time I've ever crafted elven mana spreaders, so that's kind of cool. Oh, missed the hole. Okay. All right. So, um... I don't think these have to be, like, absolutely next door to anything. I think... Also, I think that Elven Mass Riders maybe can be further. Um, I think they can shoot further without mana loss, I think. If not, this is going to be kind of a drag, because that's, that's how I built this entire thing. Um, so, I think I'll put it, like... Here, right there. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, okay, let me see. How do I do that? Like, I got, I, I hope this works, guys. I really hope it works. I am, uh, I'm such a noob when it comes to, um, when it comes to uh, uh, Batania, I just I just really don't know what I'm doing. Oh look! Look, this is lava, and he's not drinking it. Now that could mean a number of things. Okay, that guy seems to be going. What about this guy? Alright, and then this guy. Alright. So I got four, four elven mana spreaders all just like pouring mana down there. First, it looks awesome. It looks really awesome. So, all I have to do is connect these guys. All right, is he out? Yeah. Oh, you know what? They did take it. Whoa, look at that. Nice. So, and I'm not wasting lava, which is cool. So, will this... Is this going to be a ton of mana? That's my question. That's the one thing I don't know. Is this just going to be like a crazy amount of mana? Or is this just going to be, you know, not? Um, every minute and a half, I guess, one of these should put lava. And there, something. one of them just went. It went so fast, I don't even know which one it was. Let me see if I can figure out which one will go next. Oh, this one will. Okay, the one up there on the right. Wait, which one? Is it this one? Yeah. So it's this guy. So this guy's going really soon here. So I think I think this will fill up really fast. I hope. I hope it will. And then this is going to be... This is like a completely hands-free operation for mana. It's going to cost me a little bit of life essence but that or you know my life uh network but that's not a big deal this should fill up with with lava any second now oh he's still smoking um pot i sh i would have thought he would be done smoking by now um I think maybe this round around it might be all kind of screwed up because 
by the time I had a place for the mana to go, his cooldown period was like halfway over already. So, one of two things. Either that's that's the case and that's right, or he grabbed lava from somewhere else. But I don't think more than one flower could grab lava. Yeah, like, man, that was super fast. It didn't even appear, and it was already gone. And he did not gain mana, so he started a new five-minute cooldown. But his... Yeah, he's, he is also on cooldown. As is he. As are all of them. So I'm getting no mana right now. But this guy's cooldown... I mean, this may have to run, like, twice around to get all set. Um, I don't know what their range is, you know. Definitely, um, they're close enough to the mana spreader because these guys already put a bunch of mana down there. So that's cool. Now, I don't know if this Thermal Lily can, like, grab lava from there. I really like that you can see the smoke even with particles turned off, but I'm going to wait and see if this ends. Well, I might just let it run for a little while and just see. So, um, uh, you know, let it run like one or two times through. I think that's what I'm going to need to do. So I'm going to call this build complete. And the build's not complete, but this aspect of it is. So I now have what I hope will be a really good... Um, it's not, it's not passive, but it's certainly automated. So, a really good, like, automated mana system that I don't have to touch to... Is this guy still smoking? They're all still smoking. I mean, it's kind of ridiculous. It's a five-minute cooldown. More lava doesn't come for six minutes. All right, anyway. I'm going to call this, this part complete. I'm going to see if I'm getting a bunch of mana, you know, tomorrow whenever I wake up, I guess. So, uh... Hopefully, I'll have a lot, and then we can move on to the next part of this build, which I'm really excited about. So, I will see everyone tomorrow. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. And, um, I don't know. I don't, I don't even know what to say. Bye.